In two separate votes Thursday, the Senate showed its disapproval for the Trump administration's unwavering support for Saudi Arabia. One resolution would effectively force the president's hand and require him to end American military support for the kingdom's war in Yemen. That passed with a 56 to 41 vote, but it was largely symbolic because the legislation isn't expected to get a vote in the House. The other resolution specifically holds Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman responsible for Jamal Khashoggi's death. Many lawmakers have grown increasingly frustrated with Saudi Arabia since the journalist was killed on October 2nd. Despite reportedly strong evidence of the Crown Prince's involvement from U.S. intelligence agencies, President Donald Trump has continued to support him and the kingdom. I've come to the conclusion where, you know, the Crown uh, Prince's involvement here is, 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 is accurate. But at the end of the day, accountability needs to be imposed here, and I think there are appropriate sanctions that can be deployed. The de facto leader is the Crown Prince has been a wrecking ball. And the Khashoggi incident is just uh, one of many, but the most egregious, and I think most people can relate to why we're upset. House Speaker Paul Ryan hasn't said yet whether he'll bring the Khashoggi resolution to the floor for a vote.